in that all of you, if you've done this walk for a long time, when you're young, you're thinking you know everything. And you're like Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane. I'll give up everything for God. I'll lose everything for God. But when you get a bit older, you start to feel like Christ on the cross. You lose everything, including God. Lose everything, including God. But then there's a third stage. And the third stage we call resurrection. And that is where we find God in the midst, in love itself. Where we kind of go, well, I don't know. I'm not sure. I have all these doubts and unknowing. But there's something wonderful about giving th- uh, water to those who are thirsty, visiting those who are in prison. There's something wonderful about giving food to those who are hungry. There's, there's something beautiful about this. And even if you know life doesn't completely make sense, and I have all of these doubts, being sensitive to the other, I find value and meaning. And that's what Mother Teresa said when she said, when she lost God in the sense that she experienced this unknowing, she didn't stop believing, but she experienced the loss. It's, it's what Sartre said, the experience of absence. Um, if, I'm, if I'm waiting for someone to arrive here, um, I experience their absence. You have an absence of experience because you don't know they're here, but they're, you don't know they're not here. But I know they're not here, so I experience that absence. So that's the Christian experience, right? It's the experience of the absence of loss, not the absence of experience of loss. Um, do you experience, you see, as she experienced that, this loss of something so precious, but she rediscovered God in the midst as she loved the children who were dying, the people around her. She discovered, she says, there is a wonderful disguise, a wonderful disguise of the divine. 